Today we're in Dorset, a place called Abbotsbury. We're going to walk up to West Bexington following the beach, walk round up to Abbotsbury Castle and back to Abbotsbury. It's only £3 a park. We're just next door to the Swan Inn. We're just at the road now, we're going to turn left. We'll give you a quick look through the village. So we're just heading downhill, making our way slowly towards the Swannery, down towards the beach, but wherever we find on way we'll show you. As you can see as we go through the village, a lot of it's all thatched. We've got a couple of milk churns there, look. Nice little house that. We walk down the hill and then we turn left towards the Swannery, it's half a mile. But we look to our right hand side and we think it's a lovely shot is that of the village. So we take a quick shot. And there in front of us we've got the church. And this just gives us a good excuse to do the filming. Because we're high up and we can see what's, you know, the village and that on our left hand side, what it looks like. And then while we're in the churchyard, we've got plenty of height here, so it gives us an excuse to look at the other side of the village. And we're still in the churchyard, just taking one or two more shots, look. We head forward in front of the church and then we turn left, there's a sign in front that says Abbey House Tea Room. We go straight forward through the arch. In front of us you've got the sign saying Swannery and Tithe Bar. And this column in front is about all that's left of Abbotsbury Abbey, founded in the 11th century. And then straight in front of us we've got the Tithe Barn. And then we turn right and follow the road in front of you. Walk to the end of the Tithe Barn and just on your right hand side there's a pedestrian way down to the Swannery. So we head forward down there. We just keep heading forward past the houses. I think we've got a mill race on our left hand side. On your right hand side you'll see a load of chickens and banties and all sorts. The big building in front of you and we turn right there. We're heading towards Chensel Beach. It's a permissive path. 100 yards you'll cross over a stile, go straight forward uphill towards the wall and the gate in front of you. Head straight forward, you'll see a sign in front that says Coast Path, Chensel Beach, one mile, that's where we're heading. 50 yards past the Chensel Beach sign, you'll see another sign in front of you that says St Catherine's Chapel. So we turn right there, uphill a few hundred yards, let's go and have a look now. Well we've climbed to the top of the hill, it's fairly steep as well. And in front of us we've got St Catherine's Chapel. We'll have a look at the left hand side while we're here. We're inside now, we've got like a grit floor and we look there's bits of candles and photographs and little messages of people that are unwell or have died. It looks like a bit of a shrine. The door at the back is open and we've come straight forward and we're looking out onto the view. This is the top end of Abbotsbury here. And as you can see there, there's a path straight up to it. If we look slightly to the right or middle of the picture now, you've got the church down below. And then we look to the right hand side of that. We can see the tithe barn there, look. And then we'll just keep panning around a bit, just to let you have a look at what we've got. So, uh, 
Back out the front gate, heading forward now, back towards Chensel Beach. While we're up here and we've got some height, we thought we'll give you a quick view before we go any further. As you walk forward from the chapel, just in front of you, you can see the maze from the swannery. We'll take the zoom off and just show you the proper picture now. And then just at the back of the maze, we've got the swannery. And then we've got the, uh, or part of the 95 mile long coastline. There's a hundred million tons of pebbles protecting the fleet. It's Britain's largest tidal lagoon. It's an important breeding site for birds and wildlife. We'll show you the rest of it. The beach moves on average 16 feet inland every century and is thought to date back 6,000 years. We make our way down to the coastal path. On our left hand side we pass an old World War II pillbox. Just keep walking forward, you'll pass another pillbox on your left hand side with like a tree growing on the top of it. Just after the pillbox you drop downhill down towards the fence line where them cows are. Turn left and then just follow the hedge line down towards the beach. You're walking with a taxi driver today. So we've followed the fence line and that'll bring you out to the beach in front of you and then we turn right keeping to the path with a big pile of shingle on our left hand side walk forward a couple hundred yards on your right hand side you'll come to a car park and a cafe and toilets just past there we pick up the tarmac track and head forward. As we walk up the road, we seem to have a load of wild garlic on either side. Just head forward for five minutes up the road as you climb. You look back, take a picture. If you look in front, we've got loads of fishermen dotted up and down the beach. And then we look forward, but we're going back down onto the road because it's a lot easier walking than walking the shingle. As you walk along, look to your right and you'll see Lawrence's cottage, thatch roof and there's a farm in the background. Makes a great picture. Just opposite there, we just have a quick look out to sea. And there's still your fishermen on the beach there, look. And we're just heading straight forward. We can see another pillbox in the distance and a couple of buildings on our right hand side. We're just sat at the top of the beach having a cup of tea and we've got a fishing boat going by here look so uh, we decide to take a quick quick shot that'll do we walk forward past the wooden hut of the old coast guards we've got Lime Bay on our left hand side as we walk along, we're on a bit of an old track now that's not suitable for motors. But we look to our left hand side, there's garlic, wild garlic everywhere. We keep heading forward. As you can see, it's just a narrow little track, but we're only about 50 foot off the beach. And we're keeping our eye open for grass snakes or slow worms or anything else that will dart across, hopefully. We haven't seen nothing yet though. We look to the left hand side and in the hedge we think this is one of the rare types of pea that grows near the sea but we don't know if it is or not. I dare say somebody will give us some feedback and tell us but there it is anyway. And these are some of the other type of flowers that are growing in the shingle. Again we don't know what this one is. It's just a yellow flower that's grown at the side of the path and we think this is uh, sea kale but if we're wrong with any of the three if, drop us an email it's the middle of june the temperature today is about 70 72 
quite warm. It looks like we've got two uh, West Becks in turn here. We walk forward across the front of the huts and the houses. We'll give, give you a quick shot of the beach. We're just at the end of the car park and we're just taking a, a quick shot over towards Lyme Regis. At the car park we turn right uphill, steady climb, we're heading towards the B3157. You have toilets on your left hand side in this car park. We'll be passing the Manor Hotel as we go up. As you steadily make your way uphill, we've passed the cafe on our left hand side. Just stop to admire some of the flowers and the plants on the way up on the side of the road. As you make your way uphill, you'll be aware of a lot of noise from seagulls. And as we look, we can see the nesting on the roofs of the houses there, look. There we are, look. This is on people's roofs. We're on the road. We're only showing the top of the roof, nothing else. And there's the baby seagulls. They'll just have a nest anywhere, and that's just near a chimney pot. And there's the mother come back, look. There's a chick just at the side of the pot. And you can hear them, they're all over. Steadily walk uphill, there's an old farm on your left hand side. We come to a T-junction, Manor Hotel on your right. We head straight forward down the side of the bungalow with the bungalow on our left hand side. The sign says Hardy Monument, South Dorset Ridgeway. We head uphill. Pretty steep climb uphill as well. Walk forward, two or three hundred feet short of the road. You'll see the telegraph pole in front of you. And then you turn right. Uphill. We're just out near the road now. And as you can see, you've got a seat here. While we're up here, we decide to take a, a quick shot. You'll come out onto the top road. There's enough parking for about three cars, then straight opposite there's a gate. We're heading across the top of the field now, as you can see, following the hedge line. We're just on the inside of the road now. As we head forward across the top, slowly heading back towards our Abbotsbury now, it gives us a chance to get a few shots off. And we're following like a grassy path through the bushes, roads on our left, seas on our right. As we walk along we see what looks like an old well or a lookout or something. We're going to get up front of there and take a shot. And that allows us to take a shot of Bexington from the top of the hill. We're just heading forward across open ground and we're heading towards Abbotsbury Castle, Iron Age Hill Fort. Just keep heading forward, you'll see the little path as we go over the hill, roads on your left. Well, we've just made it to the top of the mound. We've just turned round and thought you might want to look at the countryside along the Dorset coast. But we're heading forward. We can see Chensel Beach on our right hand side and Portland in the distance. We've walked to the end of the field. We're going to cross over the road. We're going to follow that path up towards the hill fort. Well here we are, we're on top of the hill fort now and we'll show you what we can of it. There's a bit of the, looks like the moat there. And then as we slowly swing round you can see where the outer walls have been there, look. Where them little bushes are. We're going to head across the front of it now towards that concrete pillar in, on the left hand side of your picture. I think we're just at the back of the fort now and if we look we've got a path just in front of us that comes up and then just down below us we say that's the entrance to the hill fort and as you can see they've got a 360 degree view here We're going to cross 
over the ditch or moat down below us, across the top, through that gate at the other side. We're nearly back now. We cross over the tiny road in front and we're heading towards the beacon. And this is your last chance to have a look at Chensel Beach. We're just in front of the just in front of the beacon now. We've just left the beacon on our right hand side. We're just heading forward across the top look. After the beacon, just keep walking along the ridgeway. You'll see the gate in front. Straight through the gate. As soon as you go through the gate, bear off to your right hand side. As we start heading downhill, we see a pond on our right hand side, just below us. Well, all we have to do is just follow the path's now back to uh, Abbotsbury, straight in front. Down below us we've Chensel Beach and we've got the chapel. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our walk in Dorset. It's been a new one for us from Abbotsbury up the Jurassic Coast. You've been walking the taxi drive today.